this is the fourth module on trigonometric functions so far we defined them we discussed different identities different properties of these trigonometric functions and most importantly uh, in our previous module we discussed the mappings sin z and cosine z and we explored their beautiful and interesting geometry now in this module we are going to study or continue discussion of mappings and we will focus on the tangent z function okay now let's begin with our study once again we are going to choose some subsets in the z plane and we will study their images under this tan z in the w plane okay so uh, we are going to choose line segments in the z plane and we will study their images in the w plane so the line segment that we are going to use are basically uh, the line segments parallel to uh, the imaginary axis or the y axis and uh, so that's why they will be defined by uh, using these x coordinates so the x coordinate is basically minus pi by 4 plus k pi by 16 and k varies from 0 to 8 so when k is equal to 8 then we can easily see that it is going to give us pi by 4 so basically they vary from uh, the line segment x is equal to minus pi by 4 to the line segment x is equal to pi by 4 and uh, as in the case of the sine and cosine this y varies from minus 3 to 3 okay so what is going to be the geometry of these line segments so these are the line segments that you can see on the screen so they are uh, colored in different ways so that we can uh, track uh, their image in the w plane okay so once again in this case a is going to vary uh, from uh, okay so as as we have defined that uh, x varies from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 so a varies from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 and y varies from minus 3 to 3 okay to to study uh, the images uh, of these line segment under this mapping tan z we first want to see what is going to be u and v in the w plane in fact we want to see that if w is equal to tan z which is equal to u plus iota v then what are the values of u and v and of course z is equal to x plus iota y so let's see how to uh, calculate these u and v's we know that tan z is equal to tan x plus iota y is going to be equal to sin x plus iota y and cosine x plus iota y and we know that uh, sin x plus iota y is going to be equal to sin x cosine hyperbola y plus uh, iota cosine x sine hyperbolic y okay divided by using once again the similar identity for cosine x so moving on of course uh, uh, we want to find u and v and this iota in the denominator is the troublemaker so we want to uh, multiply and divide this expression uh, with the conjugate of the denominator and uh, what do we get so we get the following expression and from this expression it is very simple to find what is the value of u and what is the value of v of course we can easily write down the values of u and v in the following way now moving on what do we want to calculate we want to calculate the images of the equation x is equal to a so these are the equations of the line segment and of course a varies from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 and y varies from minus 3 to 3 now uh, i'm leaving this as an exercise and uh, if you have any uh, trouble then you can just follow uh, the steps or you can uh, just watch uh, how we uh, calculated it in the case of uh, sin z okay so uh, kind of similar not exactly the same but kind of similar calculation leads us that the images of uh, these line segments are basically circular arcs in the w plane so let's have a look at the images of these line segments so over here uh, we can see that this line segment is mapped onto this line segment and this is part of a circular arc and uh, once again uh, this line segment is going to be mapped onto this line segment and similarly uh, you can uh, uh, match the colors and see that what are the images of the line segments from the z plane to the w plane okay so that's uh, the image of these line segment under the mapping tan z now uh, let's have a uh, look at some of the subsets in the z plane and see their images in the w plane now if we choose uh, this line segment parallel to uh, imaginary axis then it is going to be circular arc once again and if we choose this uh, 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 line segment on the left side it's another circular arc and this line segment parallel to uh, x axis or the real axis is going to be one tiny circle so in fact the image of this uh, kind of square is going to be these two circular arcs and very very two tiny circular arcs then you can see okay so these are the images of the line segments parallel to real axis okay so these tiny tiny circles are images of the lines parallel to 
uh, re-elect this and if we choose any random region in the z-plane then this is the image and similarly let's choose any random uh, shape in the z-plane and we can find its image okay so using the same steps finding u and v putting x is equal to a and discussing the image now uh, let's discuss uh, the image of lena under this mapping tan z okay so on the screen you can easily see that what is going to be image of lena under this uh, mapping okay so once again the lines parallel to uh, the real axis are going to be mapped onto these tiny circles okay so these are the tiny circles okay similarly the lines parallel to uh, imaginary axis so they are going to be mapped onto the circular arcs so that's why you can see a kind of this two circular arc thing okay so the kind of images mapped onto two circular map now let's discuss some other images now let's uh, use this square okay so once again the same effect and uh, let's change the square once again we can see the same effect so all of these blue lines are mapped onto this tiny things and similarly let's discuss uh, the image of this uh, child under this tan mapping so once again using the same effect so this portion so this portion is kind of mapped onto this tiny circle and this portion is mapped onto this tiny circle and uh, these lines are mapped onto these circular arcs and these lines are mapped onto these circular arcs so that's uh, that's how we calculate uh, the image of different sets in the w plane under this mapping tan z on the same lines uh, we can discuss uh, the mappings of other trigonometric functions okay so we discussed in very detail uh, the mapping sin z and we also discussed cosine z and tan z so this is the end of our uh, discussion uh, where we discuss the mappings sin z cosine z tan z and other trigonometric function we will continue our uh, discussion on the trigonometric function in our next module